Ken Sears here, and it's Tuesday. It's time for another shave. Welcome back to the Shave Den. God, seems like uh, yesterday I was doing the leaf razor shave, and I think it was Friday, and uh, oh, Saturday, and it was uh, the final game of the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs. And here we are, <laughs> opening day today, game one, World Series, Dodgers versus Boston. Hopefully it's a good game. So this time I'm gonna be doing a shave and I, I don't think I've used this one in a while. Uh, I've, I did a really nice uh, shave to this. I called it the Roaring 20 shave because this Gillette razor uh, has a copyright date on it of uh, I think 1920, 1925, but I know they made them uh, much later than that. And I'm not quite sure the circa of when this one uh, came out, but man, it's just a, super nice little kit and I picked this up off eBay a while ago and this is kind of an open comb tech let me uh, set this down here it's a three-piece razor and it's a uh, open comb and I am gonna slide in today don't know how it's gonna work but uh, the feather blade today this is the second time I've used this blade so I'm going to be using the feather today, and I hope that's not a mistake because this is an open comb, and uh, I wouldn't recommend it. There we are. The tech razor. I got a mail call from my friend Sean. He said, Ken, I haven't seen you try the, uh, the Derby shave sticks yet. And I've done a lot of shave sticks, but uh, he's right. I don't think I've done the Derby. So this one is uh, it's in Spanish, or yeah, Spanish, I believe. Berber Tirias Sabuno. So we're gonna be using this today. I'm gonna use uh, a really, one of my favorite brushes that uh, I picked up from West Coast Shaving. This is the deranged brush. It's a limited edition. Uh, they have so many cool one-of-a-kind deranged brushes. And, well, look at that. We'll get that auto exposure. There we go. Now it's not flickering. So I'm going to be getting the, uh, using the deranged synthetic today. I'm going to put it in the crystal skull as we're talking. Start that soaking. And uh, some Clubman aftershave. We'll keep it general today. I'm going to be going to see the game tonight. My wife does not like the Dodgers. She's an Angels fan all the way. And she goes, you know, how can you be rooting for the Dodgers? I go, are the Angels in the World Series? Seriously? So a lot, <laughs> a lot of people got on her case, and she ended up watching Game 7 of the playoffs uh, all the way through. And uh, so tonight she goes, hey, why don't we go watch uh, Game 1 of the World Series at a bar, or uh, like a Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that, sports bar. And I thought, yeah, psh, psh, you're not going to have to tell me twice. So... Let's get this shave started. I think I can leave this on, we'll find out. There's lots of ways to uh, use the shave sticks. Uh, you can, you know, break a piece off, put them in a bowl, but I'm gonna be doing it the old fashioned way here. I'm just gonna apply it to my face and do a face lather with it. Let's see here. I'm gonna peel off the, uh, peel it down a little bit. There we go. Very good. Let me wet it a little bit. Leave some water on it. Get it blooming a bit. Let me wet my face. I'm going to do the disclosure again because some of you are just catching my videos and you haven't watched the last four or five. And you say, hey, what the hell are you growing a mustache for? And Halloween, I'm gonna go as Tom Selleck or as Magnum P.I. I need the mustache, I got the cap, I've got the uh, shirt. So in case you haven't been watching, it's for Halloween. All right. You can tell I got a few days growth on this. Take the brush, I'm gonna put a little on it. Oh, it's 
got a great smell. Now this works quite easy when you've got some whiskers on there because uh, it's like sandpaper on that not shave stick. It just takes it right off, but not bad, huh? Not bad. Nice. Very nice. Well, I'm going to take my time today, guys, and if this doesn't feel right, I'm going to change the blades. Uh, mailman. Unbelievable. Let's rotate it. Now, some people have asked, where do I get these razors? And I, I do buy most of mine or a lot of mine from eBay. But my friend Mark, uh, he told me that I should check out Razor Emporium because he says that they have not only restored vintage Gillettes and uh, Schicks and other razors, but they also have new tech razors that he swears are just awesome. And I haven't tried them yet, but I encourage you to go to the site and take a look. I've been to Razor Emporium many times. In fact, they restored my vintage, uh, I think this is a 59, red tip. This belonged to my father-in-law's dad. And I, if you haven't seen the restoration video on this, uh, I, I did one a couple of years ago. The red tip. Now everybody I've talked to says that the feather blade works better the second time than right out of the box. And so far, so good. really wouldn't recommend a feather with an open comb. And somebody asked if that leaf razor, because again, some of you can't use DE blades or uh, safety razors. It says you get skin irritation and uh, you prefer cartridges. And that leaf razor was an alternative to the cartridge razor because you could actually use DE blades in that razor. And it's a little less harsh than a safety razor. But somebody asked if I could do a shave with that leaf razor in the future with a feather blade. I think they said just two feather blades, not the three. So that's on deck lined up. <sighs> wow. I could actually stop right now. But then someone would say, hey, Ken, man, your, your, your videos are too short. So we'll try a second pass. But I didn't feel any cut on that, so you guys were right. Second time with that, uh... Man, that is a really good smelling shave soap. Thank you very much, Sean. He said, I have a bunch of them. Would you like to try one? I said, sure. What can I pay for shipping? What can I pay? And he just sent them. He goes, uh, use them in a video. So thank you very much. All right. A 
That's a text from my wife I'm reading. We were looking to go to a Mexican restaurant and she just said, nope, nothing there for me. Her and my daughter are doing that vegan diet. Man, my wife's lost like 20 pounds and my daughter's lost like 15 pounds, so. Uh, but <laughs> I like hamburgers and steaks and fish, so. Man, I'm getting cocky. Don't get cocky. Especially with an open comb. Turning it. I left that shave on Saturday and uh, I'm in my room getting ready for that party <laughs> and I noticed the soap in the ear. So hopefully Nice, nice, nice. You know, I might use some Thayer's. Is this the peach? Oh, I heard they discontinued this, uh, the peach version. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, I really like this. So I'm going to have to go to uh, Sprouts, is it? Because I saw they have all different size bottles of that on the shelves. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Pinard Clubman. A supermarket shave, right? This is available on the shelves at uh, Rite Aid by my house. And it burns. Ah, it burns pretty good. But that's no surprising. I mean, look at how much blade exposure you get on an open comb compared to, say, a uh, closed comb. See? That, the, you know, your, the whiskers go through those slots and it gets a lot closer. There's a safety bar on this one. That's why they call it a safety razor. So it doesn't go through, but see that? but an open comb will get you a very, very good shave and holy crap, no blood with a feather razor. Super smooth. Wow. Well, I am not gonna complain. The shave stick worked fantastic. So again, if, <laughs> what's that mean? Someone translate that? Smells super good. All right. Let the deranged brush hang. You know, these I picked up off. Somebody asked, hey, where do you get these stands? And I picked them up. I've got a, a few of them hanging around here. But I picked these up off eBay, and they were like a buck or two bucks each. And then they also had an AliExpress or DH gate. What's good is you can widen them out a little bit. And this is a wide brush but she's gonna sit perfectly in here and dry. I couldn't find the exact link to them again. Somebody had asked, I gave them a link, but if you look at DHgate, AliExpress or eBay for shave, or shave brush stands, you'll probably find it. The, the modern or the newer ones though, they have a, a slot right here, so you can actually put your razor and stand your razor up in it too. But uh, yeah, they're only about three to five bucks, you know. <sighs> All right. Thank you for watching. Good luck to both teams tonight. Let's hope it's a good game. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Until, until next time, it's uh, Ken Surf saying have a great night.